Hi, my name is Blake. I'm going to introduce you to the online public access catalog at HOPE. The online public access catalog, or OPAC, is the place to go to find a book. It is online, so you can use it at school or at home. All you need is a computer with internet access. To get started, look for this box and click on Simple Search. I am almost finished reading this book. I really enjoyed it, and I wonder if the library has more books by its author. Since I know the author's name, I just need to type it in the search box. When looking for books by the author's name, type in the author's last name. Never search for a book just using their first name. Spelling counts in OPAC. If you do not spell the author's name correctly, you will not get any results. And then click on the Author button. Here are the results of our search. There are 15 books in the Hope Library by this author. The number of results for any search is shown here. This author was an easy example. Other names, though, might be harder to figure out. What do you type to find books by authors with last names like Chris Van Allsburg? Or what about Dick King Smith? Like I said before, never search for an author just by their first name. So if you wanted a book by Chris Van Allsburg, searching just by his first name, Chris, is not correct. The right way to search for an author with this kind of name is to type in all of the last name. It does not matter that there is a capital letter in the middle. When you are done typing, click on the Author button. Here are the results. How many books by this author are in the Hope Library? But what about an author like Dick King Smith, who has two last names with a hyphen in between? What should you type in the search box, King or Smith? When an author has two last names, type both names with the hyphen in the search box. If an author has two last names, but the names do not have a hyphen, Search by the last name only. What happens if you do not know the author of the book you want, but you think you know part of the title? Start by typing in the search box one or two words you think might be in the title. You must spell correctly all the words you type in the search box. Just like we don't search for an author by their first name, in titles, we don't need to use articles, the, a, or an, at the beginning of the title. Click on the Title button to start the search. OPAC searches through all the book titles in the Hope Library. Everything that has stall as part of a word in a title is shown in a drop-down box. Since stall was a word in the title of the book I want, that's the one I'm going to click on. Man, that's pretty cool. OPEC has narrowed my search to just four books. I know the book I want is not the first one, since that book is in the early book collection. The book I'm looking for is in the juvenile collection. The book I want must be one of the other three. But which one? They each have the same author. Most of the time, OPEC will tell you the series order, like it does here with the Harry Potter books. Or this series that my sister is reading. But for my search, OPEC has found three books that have the title, The Fourth Stall. Reading the story summaries doesn't tell me what I want to know. But there is one thing on this page that does give me the answer I'm looking for. 
Do you see it? Take a look at the copyright dates. What do you notice about them? Have you noticed that the first book has a copyright date of 2011? This one's copyright is 2012. And the last one is 2013. The copyright dates are in ascending order. That must mean that the book with the earliest date, 2011, is the first book in the series. OK, so I know that this book is the first one in the series. It might be a pretty good book, but I'm not sure about it. I need to find out something more before I check it out, and I can do that right here from OPAC. Just by clicking on the title, OPAC will give me some more information on this book. The first page that comes up is the summary page for this book. This page tells me more about the book by listing some of its subjects. That's kind of neat, because if you want to read something about friendships or bullying, you can just click on those subjects here and find other books that deal with those topics. Let's look next at the snapshot page. This page gives me a more detailed summary of the book, and it also confirms that it is the first book in the series. Now let's look at the holdings page. The holdings page shows me that the Hope Library has two copies of this book. Both of them are in and available for checkout. It also gives me the call number. That's really important because I need to know the call number if I am going to find the book in the library. Now that I have found the book I was looking for, I want to finish up by showing you a few more things about OPEC that you need to know. I need to do a report on zebras. The best way to search for any subject is to type the subject in the search box and then click on the subject button. This first result, or hit, Plains Zebras looks good. And OPAC shows me that the book is in the library. It has not been checked out. The book here at the bottom of the list has been checked out, so I won't find it in the library. Save yourself time and frustration. Be sure to check if the book is in or out before you go look for it. The call number for this book is here, so I could just write it down and go to the shelf to find it. But before I do that, I want to show you something else in OPEC that you will be glad to know about when you are doing any kind of research writing assignment. You have already seen the summary, snapshot, and holdings pages for the fiction book I was looking for. This is the details page for the nonfiction book on zebras. Most of the information you will need for the works cited page in your research paper can be found here. Beginning with the author's name. Her last name is first, followed by a comma, and then her first name. That is the way you will need to write it on your works cited page. Next comes the title, followed by the series title. You will also need to know who is the publisher, where the book was published, and the copyright date. The details page also tells you how many pages are in the book, if there is a bibliography and an index, as well as chapter titles. But the most important thing to do on this page is to read the summary of the book's contents. This will tell me if it really is a book I can use for my paper or not. Before I go, I want to show you a couple of more things about OPAC. I just need to mention something about keyword searches that you will need to know. It's kind of like a subject search. The difference is, is that you will probably get more results doing a keyword search. That's because OPAC searches everywhere in the record for the keyword you've typed in the search box. So if your keyword is dog, OPAC will search all titles, all subjects, all chapter lists, all summaries, and all descriptions to find that word. So you will probably get a lot more returns. 
Doing the same search, but clicking instead on the subject button, means that OPAC will just search the subject fields for that word, dog, and return only those results that have dog listed as a subject. The last one I'm going to talk about is a series search. A series search is a lot like a title search. Just type in the search box all or part of the series title and then click on the series button. OPAC will then show you all of the books in the series that the library has. The last thing I want to show you is a subject search I'm going to do on Vampire. This display is very different from the one you saw earlier. The only thing you need to do to change the display to look like this is to click here. This display doesn't show you any call numbers. You have to click on a title to look at the summary or holding pages to get that information but it does show you if the book is in or out. And even though you will also find this in the other page view as well, I want you to look at the little logo over here. See this small E? The E stands for ebook. That means you can read it on a computer in the library or download it to your iPad. Just click on the Start Book button. Get comfortable in the library and read. Miss C won't mind a bit. So these are just some of the things you need to know about OPAC. Use it every time you come to the library to find books. And I hope you learn some things as well, because I'm pretty sure Miss C has some OPAC practice assignments for you. Good luck, and be seeing you. <laughs>